Uh, why, in your opinions, would you say it's critical to recenter the conversation and the analysis on a family? Let's even go beyond the Black familiar experience, right? Like, uh, why focus on families to understand the Civil War era, the long Civil War era? Because, um, you know, Amy, your first book, I think, which is very important, also moves beyond, you know, it's looking at the white family. But what, you know, if we were to add in the what's happening with Native Americans, what's happening with immigrants, I think of Ryan Keating's, you know, great work. I think of Christian Samato, like why those conversations and analyses important, would you say? I can jump in. Okay, sorry. I was say, Amy, you want to take this first? <laughs> well, I will, since he sort of pointed to me a little bit, but um, I've been, I've thought about this for a long time and I have, you know, this is the way my mind works about war and family and why you put them all together. I mean, war, I don't, I'm not the only one who thinks this is a contest of loyalty. All right. And people who fought in the civil war or lived through it, died in it. Um, you know, they were not just loyal to political causes. They were loyal to spouses and children and, you know, extended kin and so forth. And I think that's the central drama of the war is the way in which people, you know, sometimes are able to kind of bring those loyalties together and they align, but very often they collide. And uh, that, you know, leads to some really heartrending um, experiences. So to me, um, you know, family is, you know, war sort of, um, and, and war and family loyalties are really at the center of many people's experiences. I mean, we've been saying that part of it, but I think it comes down to loyalty. Right, that's a great point. I also think about um, black families who, and um, especially in rural Pennsylvania and Philadelphia, who want to enlist, mm. but they can't. Right. <laughs> So it's the denial of the national family. So they have individual loyalties, individual patriotism, but in the national family, they're rejected. So there being that family drama, how it plays out. And I think the family too, for teaching purposes, my students understand the family unit. Right. And I have taught at um, areas where the military has been strong. So when I was at Elizabeth City State University, 85% of my students were military families. Coast Guard being in Elizabeth City, but also JCOM in um, Southeast Virginia. So my students understood that family structure because through their lives. So they could see what they it, understand and have empathy for understanding these families and the drama of the Civil War because they understood the family as the building block of the community. Right. That's a great point. Yeah, that's a really great point. <laughs> this, this, this idea of family for particularly black soldiers and sailors it, it was at the heart of why they, they joined. Even if they told their families they were joining to help end slavery or they were joining because they believed in defending the union and they write home about this, that they're fighting for Uncle Sam, that they believe in their country. Right. Uh, they're fighting for uh, a somewhat normal paycheck or pay. Obviously we know it didn't happen that way, but the idea right. that there would be pay or a bounty. Right that all of these reasons still came back to their families, uh, their manhood. And they, they write home about this as well. And they'll be a, a true father or a true member of the church when they can show that they are brave or um, strong. And so the family is at the heart of, of why the African-American community supports the war for a variety of reasons. But the idea is also about this loyalty is, is fascinating because sometimes in black families, there's tension there during the war as well. Black women who write and ask their husbands to just come home, mm -hmm. right? right. We, we read a lot about this with white families, particularly in the South. And for African-American women who were formerly enslaved um, or finding themselves maybe in one of those camps, um, you understand that desperation of wanting their father or brother or husband to come home. But Northern and Midwestern women are writing some of the same things. And so there is a loyalty um, that is tested at that moment when black men believe that it is this opportunity to, to get part of the family you're talking about, Hillary, right? I can be a real part, whether it's the electorate, whether it's the political body, the military body, 
and yet my family needs me at home and they're right. in an even often more precarious situation than poor white families. And um, this is where I think the community structures in place matter. Yes. You didn't have those communal ties and those groups, um, like I'm thinking about the Masons and the, the women's auxiliary groups, and I can see them who are struggling, like, okay, I need food, who's going to help me here? So there's like the strength of whether or not they're writing that leather versus the timing of it might be, do they have the local communal supports to support them as their men go to war. And if not, I also see the angry black woman. I just think of all, like, it feels like a Medea movie at times. <laughs> right into these government officials, like you said this, yep. this is my yeah. bottom line. <laughs> yes. Pay me. During and after the war. Yeah, yeah. Right? Exactly. They're watching out for their families uh, quite strongly. I mean, this is, I think you all raised some phenomenal points. like. For me, when the conversation becomes about the family, I, my thought immediately went to the cult of mourning, right? Like uh, Drew Gilpin Faust, for example. Like, we need to understand what these people are mourning about, right? That these families are mourning the loss of these various individuals in depending on the length of time and, and how they do it. Like, it's all still trying to focus on the impact on a family. And obviously there are differences depending on class, race, and even place, which is really important. Hillary, your point about 